Welcome to Documentation Office Hours. It's the 15th of July, uh, 2021. And a reminder, we abide by the Jenkins Code of Conduct here. Be nice to each other. So agenda topics, She Code Africa Contributhon, uh, Zenob, we'll put that on. Uh, we've also got, let's see if we should probably talk to weekly change log automation briefly just because that's very interesting to me. LTS baseline selection, uh, upcoming events may be interesting to you, Zenob. And okay. okay, good. All right, so let's. DevOps world, yeah. Yeah, and a contributor summit with DevOps world and more. All right. Any topics that you wanted to be sure are on the agenda, Zina? Um, no, that's it. Okay, well, let's do the first topic then. Contributors, She Code Africa Contributhon. Share share with us the latest status. Okay, so um, we just finished the internal reports and also published a recap article on Medium. I could share the link. Uh, okay, let me just get it right now and share it with you. So you can include it there. Copy. Um. Okay, so I've um, shared the link to the recap article in the chat, yeah. Um, but there's a more detailed report um, that contains um, how we, um, the total funding we got from all the sponsors, how we spent it, and um, some other details that we can make public. So that document, we're going to be sharing that with um, the sponsors. So they can get um, more detailed information on how the whole program went and every information they need about the program also would also be included in the report. That's great to hear. Thank you. So, so that would go to Let's see the sponsors that I knew about. There was CDF, Cloudbees, Cloudbees, um, the art company. Oh, that's and, right, the art um, company. Yes, and um, Deploy Hub. Very good. Congratulations on four sponsors. That's great. Thank you. So, yeah, I think that's the update I have for my end. Okay, and from my side, um, um, Mark had a, so Onyinye Ezike is actively working to become a Jenkins plugin maintainer. She's submitted uh, wow. two pull requests to adopt a plugin. And uh, she submitted two requests and is preparing to adopt a plugin. And so wow. uh, developing her skills, et cetera. Uh, in addition, Sharon Jebitok and Mark had a conversation with today with a boot camp organization called Lake Hub Academy that Sharon has attended. So uh, reviewed the results of the Contributhon, discussed the uh, discussed things that that went well. The uh, Lake Hub Academy is apparently a JavaScript uh, training organization. And so not directly applicable to what we needed to do in Jenkins, but good to, good to have a discussion with them so that they understood, hey, we needed some, someone who learned and Sharon did a very good job of learning rapidly a new technology. Yeah. So, and that was, that was a good experience for everybody.
And and so it was, thanks very much. Good, good thing. Uh, I still have, Mark still has the action item to write a concluding blog post for Jenkins.io and to remove the uh, mm -hmm. um, images from the Jenkins Jumbotron. We're still highlighting the uh, She Code Africa project, the Contributhon, mm -hmm. even though it was finished months ago. So you see it here on the screen that that's great, uh, but it's okay. it's outdated, right? So I need to, to shift yeah. that and we'll replace that with an announcement for DevOps world. Okay. And that will happen. Uh, we'll do that during Monday's Doc's office hours, Asia Pacific, uh, because we've got Diraj uh, Singh Joda, uh, who wants to learn how to do that. Okay. Any any other questions from you on Chico Africa Contributhon? Yeah, so um, I just wanted to ask if um, Jenkins would like to um, participate in upcoming cohorts of Contributhon, if it's something that you'd be interested because is we intend to make it a yearly program. Um, but for the cohorts we are going to be having next year, we plan to start um, making announcements and speaking with mentoring organizations on time so we can give the organizations enough time to prepare before the events, probably by the end of this year, the last quarter of this year, we plan to start reaching out to organizations already. Then we plan to extend the time a little. So since the bootcamp is for one month, um, we don't want to make it too long, but we want to see if we can give the mentees like two weeks before the bootcamp officially starts. So they can use that two weeks as sort of like a community bonding period or something where they can set, be able to set up all the necessary tools they need to set up, um, com um, meet all the people they need to meet with um, within the community. They need to have knowledge sharing sessions. So it doesn't affect them too much during the one month program because we had a lot of mentees who complained that they spent a lot of time out of that one month just trying to set up and, you know, understand how to even start before even making a contribution. So once you give that um, brief period before the bootcamp starts so they can get a head start to do all this. Oh, good, I like that idea. I like that idea very much. Um, let's, let me, let me bring it up to bring the idea to other parts of the organization. One of the, of Jenkins community, one of the challenges we had was um, plug-in maintainers that were not uh, quick to review pull requests, right? And so mm -hmm. that meant we needed to, we need, we need to get more people agreed that they will, agreed that they will assist. Okay. Um, and there are certainly plenty of still many plugins that would benefit from from better better online help. Okay. And so the the project is still useful. Project has has lots of work to do to make that useful. Okay. Now, are you interested in? So for instance, we had talked at one point about terminology updates. Terminology updates, yeah. And that's more, that's more of a, that's a closer to the software change than the help is. Help still requires that they're inside the software. Are you, mm. is that an interesting project? Of, yes, it is. Okay, good. So um, remember I mentioned earlier that um, one project, Jenkins could submit one, more than one project topic and we can assign different people to be working on 
the different projects. So it's not composed with just one, just like we had for layer five, they had three projects and we had a total of, I think nine mentees working on the three projects. Okay. We were able to cover more. Good, all right. Okay. And so the the likely uh, likely timeline is still probably April of 2022. Yes. Okay. All right. Good to know. All right. Um, you could put you could just include March, April. All because right. Because. The, well, how about we just put? What if I put it this way? Spring of 2022. Are okay. you in the northern hemisphere or southern hemisphere? <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter to you, right? Because you're you're sort of yeah, we don't equator. Exactly. You don't. There isn't this thing like spring, so that doesn't help. No. Uh, early 2022. How about that? That's fine. Yeah, because oh, maybe we just put it there, March, April. I have to forget that my my cultural context is northern 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 hemisphere and northern latitudes which means spring really is a thing but in your world it probably isn't right there's rainy season and dry season dry exactly <laughs> exactly okay yeah so that's i think i think that's it for me for the program Okay, well, so then let's let's plan for future discussions in this in this session to be sure that we understand. Um, okay. I'll I'll start I'll start a thread in the mailing list. Mm -hmm. The actually maybe you know what I'm going to start it in a different location. Mm. Thread in community. Jenkins.io and point to it from the mailing list because okay. we've we've got a new location that we're use we're trying out that uses a very nice collaboration tool so this is community.jenkins.io and it's got wow. all sorts of useful in it let's see if i can find anything mm -hmm. on it and let contribute on okay Oh, that's fun. Okay, so there was, there is actually a casual mention. So, so yes, we've got, we've got a place that we could start those, and I'm trying to get off the docs mailing list to that location okay. too. Great. All right. Anything else on the contributeathon topic? No, that's it. Okay, so we've got a pull request proposal from Tim Jacome to automate weekly change log generation. And there were some concerns expressed um, by Daniel Beck, but I'm prone to, to go ahead with it once I have time to review it. It looks very promising. And we have a, a contributor in India who's helping us with the change logs every week now and review and discussion with him. Then the other piece of news was September's baseline selection is this week and uh, need to start the discussions. Okay. Because we have it should be either 2.300, 2.301, or 2.302. And I'll start those discussions. I don't know that we've got any big impact there. Okay. So upcoming events, you and I, Zinab, have been approved to speak together at DevOps World. Yes. About the Contributhon. And uh, I'll draft some first slides 
and we'll cool. we'll plan them or if you're okay with it we can even use these sessions to do some planning and discussion on our presentation okay that's great then um also if you need um any information from me maybe like stuff we use for the program or any information about um planning the program internally or things like that oh that would be great that would really be great because planning processes are something that are not familiar to me at all so i think we we ought, probably ought to give about half the half the presentation to that kind of material and so okay. i'll i'll put a placeholder into the first slides and let you let you insert how you would like to describe it okay okay Great, excellent, thank you. Now we'll also have a contributor summit uh, that's still being planned in the advocacy and outreach SIG. I don't know that we'll do anything in that summit related to documentation. Okay. Not yet, not yet decided. The because the agenda is still being refined, Those are just just agenda is still under development. Now this one is interesting, possibly for you, Zainab, Zainab, because it will be intentionally during Asia Pacific okay. time zone, which means it will be very tend to be early your morning, and tend to be the middle of my night. Yeah. Um, okay. We'll just keep you informed of the, the of the timings in hopes that you'll exactly. be able to attend. Hopefully. Um, about the DevOps world, there's something. Um, because I'm also um I also have a session I'll be speaking alone at DevOps world, but and I noticed that they are already um sending mails about booking recording sessions. And I'm um, submitting slides. I don't know if, because I don't know, I've not been getting any notification for the joint um, session we have, just the um, session I'll be speaking alone. So I don't know. Oh, okay. So have not received anything for our session. Okay. So I'll double check with, I'll double check with the organizers. Okay. Okay. Great. Yeah, it may be that they're they're further ahead on the the tracks that are outside of the Jenkins community. Okay. All right. Anything else? Um, nothing else outside. Uh, there's something else, but I think you can stop the recording. I'm done. Okay. Let's do that. I'm going to stop the share, stop the recording.